Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. As you know, I've been on Omarchi now for the past two weeks, and I want to share with you 10 key applications that just kind of go without that are like detrimental to my workflow. So if you're new into the Arch ecosystem or Linux, uh, this is going to be a fun one. Okay, so let's get into it. The first one that's super awesome, it's called Local Send. And this is basically like AirDrop, but without the fucking fruit. And it's as simple as just opening the app. And then I have a MacBook here. I just got opened as well. And it just connects to your network and you can share any files you want. So you can go over here to send. And as you can see, it automatically recognizes it. So you can click and then you can choose all the different files that you want to add into it. So let me just pop open here my little, let's send these two thumbnails through, for example. There we go. So you just pass those through like that. And then when you click it, as you can see, you get this nice UI. And then here you get a little notification to accept the thing. And this has been working fantastic to me. Uh, and it's so fast as well. Like the, I was sending through like gigabyte videos and it's done in like two minutes. And I even have like an SD card uh, and I don't even use that anymore because I used to like put the video files on the SD card and then transfer it over to my MacBook and do some edits there. But now it's just everything is true local sense. So this is free. Uh, you can get it on pretty much any operating system and it's fantastic. So definitely local send is on my top, top list. If you're looking for a good system monitoring tool, I cannot recommend BTOP enough. Uh, so let me open this up for you. You might have heard of HTOP. That came out in like the early 2000s. It was mainly like ASCII based. Uh, this is much nicer UI here. So you get to see your disk usage, for example, here. You got these nice rendered bars and your CPU and GPU usage as well. And you can simply navigate here and go down and see your open the applications. And then you can also like uh, kill the applications here or expand them to see how much they're using. So I have Alacrity here. If I pop this open, you're going to see the CPU usage here as well. And if you're on Omarchi, the cool part is it, it just like automatically adapts with your color scheme. So if I switch over to Kanagawa, for example, look at that. How cool is that? It just automatically switches for you. Everfrost looks really pretty here. Uh, I, I tend to like Nord now, so I'm sticking with this one. But really nice, really clean, highly recommend it. If you're doing any web dev stuff, uh, you're going to work a lot with images. And this one I really love. It's called Switcheroo. And it essentially allows you to convert any image to pretty much any format. So I have a PNG here, for example. It was stupid face. And I can take this and do a JPEG, for example, or a WebP if I want to upload it online. And I can adjust the quality as well. Boom, super simple like that. can choose the location I want to save it. Hit save and you are done. So love this one. Definitely check this one out. If you're interested in reading anything or checking out PDFs, I highly recommend the Document Viewer app. Uh, this is fantastic, mainly what I'm looking for when it comes to reading PDFs. So as you can see, this is a PDF reader here, uh, is that you have dark mode. I just, I just can't stand reading anything in light mode. So this has the toggle for it. If that's like really important for you, you got that going here. Uh, you can also like customize your fonts as well, which is really cool. Uh, you can navigate between chapters really easily. I like how this is all laid out. You can also do annotations here, highlight the text that you want and then jump between them. It's super cool. If you want something a bit more fancy for reading, I've been experimenting with this one called Foliot. I still haven't really figured it out yet, but I love the UI of it and everything. But basically you have these ODPS servers, I believe, and then you can just like import them and download them. Uh, but again, I haven't really figured it out yet. I was just experimenting here with one book and seeing kind of how this is. I love the UI, by the way. I can't read any of this, by the way. I can't read Chinese. Uh, but it's super intuitive. Again, I like that it just like adapts. This one like really just like simply adapts with your color scheme as well. So if I go on light mode, uh, that's not light mode. Which one's light mode? This one, right? It just does it for you. Um, but again, I can just do the left and right arrows here to navigate, which is really nice. Of course, it breaks on me now. Um, I'll still experiment with this. I'll have a look for other ones. I'm still sticking with Document Viewer for now, but I like the idea of this one. Uh, so if I can load up all my favorite books here, that'd be really sick.
the coolest software on this list, in my opinion, and I honestly can't believe it's a free software, is DaVinci Resolve. This is sick. If you want anything regarding video editing, even like editing some of your images, you can just get done really quickly here. And I tried Premiere Pro before. I tried uh, all the Mac applications as well. Uh, I forgot their names there. But this is like, you get so much out of this. You can edit stuff together. Uh, you can export it up to 4K as well in the free version. The paid version has like some AI features and stuff like that, or like like extracting subtitles from videos. But generally speaking, you you this free version goes such a long way. The only disadvantage is getting this up and running on Arch Linux is bloody so difficult, uh, but it's worth it. So yeah, you can cut stuff together here. Let me just import an image. Uh, I still need to figure out how to like get other codecs working. That was kind of like a big problem for me, um, but check this out. I can quickly go here. I can adjust the saturation of the image, for example. Uh, <laughs> so orange. Uh, and the control here is crazy. You can track as well. You can do masking around the videos uh, and stuff like that. But let's say, for example, I want to just edit out like the blues out of this uh, image. So I can just go here, literally go to the cyan and just reduce the saturation. And look at that. It just like completely killed off all the blues and everything else still stays the same. And then I can just grab this as a still, export it, or I can go here to the export tool. Uh, I can export it as a QuickTime, export it as MP4 as a JPEG. You can edit audio really well as well here. You have dynamics, you have EQs, and like noise canceling and other really cool features. And then you have the Fusion tab as well, which is kind of like After Effects. Uh, so it's a really, really powerful software. Uh, if you're on Arch, definitely recommend you to have a look at this. Uh, just a spoiler, the R packages are going to give you a nightmare, so it's it's quite hard to configure. If you want a video on that, let me know. Uh, but this is definitely my favorite application. I'll do a two and one here. These are like super important to me. And if you have Omarchi, this already comes pre-installed. So it's called Hypershot and Hyperpicker. So Hyper shot allows you to take screenshots easily with a region, window, or the whole display. Let me just do the region here so I can grab this bit here, and boom, there it is. I can resize it, make it bigger, center it here. Uh, I can even further crop it. I can draw on it as well if I want to, or write text on it, for example. Uh, and then hit save, and there we go, boom, done. Hyper picker allows you to just quickly get a color uh, that you need. So again, I have it here, so I can go to capture and pick color. And there we go, I can select maybe this blue, and as you can see, you get the hex text underneath as well. So I can click it, and then this is gonna copy it to my clipboard. I can open up chat GPT and ask it about the color if I want to, or something like that. I don't know, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Next up on the list is something called Walker, which is a highly customizable app launcher. And Omarch uses this by default, so if you do super space, as you can see, I can launch all my applications, but they built up this other layer on top of it, which is really cool. So I can go here to, for example, to install a new application, and I can pull these in from the R uh, community library straight away. So I can do DaVinci Resolve, for example, and boom, look at that. I can see all the different versions. One of the best parts that I really like is the clipboard. So I have that set up as super and a period mark. And look at that. I can pull in everything that we saw so far. So I can get the hex color, for example, but I can also do the images that we copied in. So you, you like we did the screenshots, right? So I can simply go here. Let's grab one of the screenshots that we took, boom, right there. And then I can open up like chat GPT if I want to and just paste it right there, boom, easy. Love this, Walker is number one for me. I'm just gonna quick fire these last three. So for the terminal here, I have Alacrity set up and I've been loving this. I pretty much tried all of them out there. Uh, Ghosty and Kitty as well. I really like Kitty. Ghosty felt a little bit slow, but I used it on my Mac, so I haven't really tried it here. Ghosty also has like tabs, but I don't really care that much for it as I use Tmux. Um, but Alacrity just been speedy and the way it's set up again in Omarchi is just fantastic. Uh, I can go here, let me just quickly show you. For the editor, I still use <laughs> Neo of them. It's just, it's so quick. Uh, it's like, open an app, open VS Code this quick, I dare you. Um, and the way they have it set up here is super nice. The like default configs that they have is really nice. Look at those little animations as well. I had my own config, but 
I'm just enjoying lazy them now, honestly. Um, the way they have it set up here is super nice. I was like, I can't believe I spend that much time and this is nicer. Uh, and the way they have it hooked up here as well is that it adapts with all the other color schemes. So if one day you want to quickly change and you get bored of, you know, Nord or whatever, you can go to Everforest and view of them adjusts automatically for you. I tried to do it with my own config with Simbling just so I wouldn't have to use lazy Vimba. I've been I've been enjoying it. It's really really nice. So highly recommend you to check this out. And last but not least, probably my favorite tool is Lazy Git. Now I like to do most stuff through Terminal, but this is one of those things that actually you know what I love to do it through here. Super easy to see all the different commits that you have. So I can go here to four. Look at that. I can simply go through everything. I can go here to two. I can commit everything if I want to super easily. I can stash these changes if I want to get rid of it. Uh, trash, there we go, boom, and it just puts it right there. I can check it out, I can drop it, apply it. Fantastic experience. If you haven't checked, if one thing, even if you don't want to go into NeoVim and all that shite, check out Lazy Get at least, okay? Um, promise you it's going to be a great experience. But yeah, that's it. That's kind of where I am right now. I'm sure I'm going to find out a bunch of different other applications if you guys want to recommend me some feel free to do down in the comments below and i'll have a look okay thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace